Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do complete chapter of Abacus for class 1. Before starting with this chapter, let me tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 1 mathematics. So do check out our channel Learning Notebook. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover today in this video. First, we will understand what is abacus, then how to read number shown by abacus, how to represent number on abacus, and then in the end, I will give you a worksheet for your practice. So let's start and first understand what is abacus. Students, look at the abacus shown here. It has two spikes, these two spikes. And as you can see, there are beads in each spike. The beads in right hand spike show digits at one's place. And the beads in left hand spike show digits at tens place. So this is a backers. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now let's learn how to write the number shown by a backers. So this is an abacus student and we have to write the number being shown by this abacus. For this, first we will count number of beads at one's place. So we will count these red beads. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4. So write 4 at one's place. Next, count number of beads at tens place. So we will count these green beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So write 5 at tens place. So we have got the number as 54. So this is the number being shown on this abacus. 54. Now next. Let's find out the number being shown by this abacus. Again, to find the number, first we will count number of beads at one's place. So let's count these red beads. 1, 2. So write 2 at one's place. Now we will count beads at tens place. Yes, we will count these blue beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So write 6 at tens place. So this abacus is showing number 62. Let's do one more question. Again, we have to find the number being shown by this abacus. So let's first count number of beads at one's place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So write 6 at one's place. Next, we will count number of beads at tens place. 1, 2, 3, 4. So write 4 at tens place. So this abacus is showing number 46. Okay students? Now students, can you tell me the number being shown in this abacus? Yes. First let's count the exact ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4. So write 4 at ones place. And then count number of beads at tens place. There is only one bead. So we will write one at tens place. 
So we have got the number as 14. This abacus is showing number 14. Now let's do our last example. Again, first we will count number of beads at one's place. But there is no bead at one's place. So it means digit at one's place is 0. Then count number of beads at tens place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So write 5 at tens place. So this abacus is showing number 50. 5, 0, 50. So now students, I am sure you have understood how to find the number being shown in the abacus. Next, we will learn how to represent a given number on a backer. So, let's see how to represent a number on a backers. First number is 43. Students, we know digit at one's place is 3. And digit at tens place is 4. Right? So, we will put how many beads at one's place on a backers? Yes, 3 beads. So, let's put 3 beads here at one's place. 1, 2, 3. Now, how many beads are we going to put at tens place? Yes, 4 beads. So, let's put 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in this way, we have put 4 beads at tens place and 3 beads at 1's place. So, this is how we can represent a number on a backers. Now, next number is 51. Here, we know digit at one's place is 1 and digit at tens place is 5. So let's put 1 bead at one's place on the backers here. So we have just put 1 bead here. Now we will put 5 beads at tens place on the backers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So students, in this way we have represented this number 51 on the backers. Next, let's represent 35 on a backers. Here we have 5 at 1's place and 3 at 10's place. So let's put 5 beads at one's place on the backers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 3 beads at tens place. 1, 2, 3. Right students? So we have represented 35 on a backers. Now let's represent last number on a backers. Number is 10. Here we have 0 at 1's place and 1 at tens place. So here students, can you tell me how many beads are we going to put at 1's place in the backers? Yes, 0 beads because we have 0 at 1's place. Okay, so we will not put any bead at 1's place here. Now we will put only one bead at tens place. So in this way we have represented number 10 on a backers. So now I am sure you have learned how to represent any number on a backers. Students, we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 1, class 2 and class 3 mathematics. 
we also have interesting maths quizzes worksheets test papers working models activities and projects on each chapter so i would suggest you to check out our channel learning notebook now in the end i am giving you a worksheet for your practice students solve this worksheet and then you can match your answers with the answers available below in the description box do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye